All right, you're really gonna love this one, folks. I'm gonna walk you through the very first comment post of this whole thing, show you the origins of it, where it all came from, how I've been involved in it, the truth behind it, and where everyone has been going wrong with this. I'm just going to do my best here, try to follow along. So today I'm going to be further demonstrating that the data, and all you got to do is use simple data metrics to show this stuff, shows that Reddit is being used as a psychological outlet for institutions, news media, and other social media figureheads that we'll discuss in this series. And it's pretty hard to argue this stuff without emotion or claims, which by the way, if you watched my last one, let's go ahead and look at the evidence that was given against that last video. We did have some people come in and give some evidence showing their side of the argument. So let's go ahead and take a look. So this is all we got and this is what was expected. This is not evidence and the claim being made in this sentence was not corroborated with any form of evidence whatsoever. This was the only thing said. So again, further proves my point, but let's move on. Not evidence, anger, and claims without evidence only solidifies my entire point. Now, again, my goal is to wake you up and help you not hurt your feelings or anything else. I understand that you have a lot of money put into this, and that's what makes me so angry when it comes to the people knowingly pushing this stuff when they haven't actually looked into it and putting other people's finances at risk. Let's begin. Now, the software we're going to be utilizing to get this data is Social Grep. It is a one of the many up-and-coming tech and data providers that is aware of the constant misinformation problem going on social media. So they want to provide a service to those who want to find truth and to basically sift through all of the garbage to find out really what's behind a lot of these different things. So I like their slogan, too. It's extracting signals out of the social web of noise keep up and analyze using our media intelligence engine very very necessary tool to use if you're going to be operating in any kind of space on the internet especially with money involved so upon utilizing this software the first results returned when we query superstock as a whole are 809,636 posts 22,954,924 comments in total. Res uh, re results returned when querying Superstonk as a whole again. We're going to keep that up here just for reference. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to extend that date outwards to 2021-0101. So again, we have zero, nothing there, obviously, in 2021. 0101. We're, we're looking for the very first post by utilizing this method. We didn't put a date parameter in there at first. We just had our Superstonk as a whole which resulted in everything. So now if we basically just take the dates and now we're only looking before the 1st of January 2021, you can see here, no results. So we're gonna keep increasing this date until we find results to find the birthday. So let's do that by moving forward. So if we look before the 27th, obviously still no posts, this is common knowledge. Most people obviously are aware that Superstock wasn't created until late February or March, but we can actually find the exact day that we see the first post. So upon looking, we find that the 15th of March 2021 was the actual birthday of Superstock, and we had our first post being the R Superstock Lounge, which it says here is deleted, but we actually are going to go and look at the permalink down below to verify that this was in fact the very first day Superstonk was created. So after looking into this, we can see that this was indeed the very first day that this uh, subreddit was created. We can see Red Chess Queen's username here. We can see a comment made saying, woohoo, made it in the first 10 members. So this was the creation of Superstonk here. So now that we know how much stuff we're looking at in total, as far as posts and comments, when the first day of Superstonk posting was created as well, 
now that we have all this information, we can move forward with DRS, the main subject in focus. So let's specifically search for DRS until we find the first post about it, now that we know when the first post in general was made. Well, when doing this, we find that before 501, we only have one post. And when you investigate further into this post, that was created on April 22nd, 2021, you notice what? Well, Dr. Trimbrath is mentioned. And it stems from an article, an opinion article, by the way, that was brought up by this Reddit user, and that's the only thing you hear about it. So this is the very first post of DRS on Superstop. And it was entitled, Is Anyone Using DRS? It lets you hold the shares in your own name instead of a street name through a broker, which is somewhat accurate. That's the first origin. Now, let's keep going. And keep in mind here, Suzanne Trimbrath was mentioned. DRS origin isn't from evidence. It isn't from facts. It's from an opinionated article written by someone who used to work in the actual industry in 1990s. And again, it says, from what I understand, you have to call your agent and tell them to sell when it's time to sell. I found out about it through Dr. Trimbrath's Twitter, where this article on phantom shares was linked. So I'm going to investigate that article to see if there actually was any mention of DRS specifically, because if not, that's a problem. And then it goes on to say, this sounds like the obvious way to keep shares from being lent out. Has this been discussed yet? I'm considering doing that myself. I want to know your experience. Which is, which is the appropriate way to handle it. This, that's the appropriate way to approach this situation, is ask questions and see what's going on. So let's keep moving on here. And we already looked at the permalink, and this actually has been deleted since then, so that is noteworthy as well. But let's go ahead and continue our search to find the next mention of DRS from this point. We already know that between April 22nd and 429, there are zero mentions after the first post we just saw until we have the R Superstock AMA from none other than Trimbrath on April 29th, 2021. And it isn't until after that that we get our next mention of DRS or our second post that is actually posted on the 4th of May, which regards street name versus direct registration. And it's people genuinely asking questions that don't know about it. These are questions, these are real posts, real people, and they're asking genuine uh, questions, sharing what they did, things like that. Nothing wrong with this so far. And he actually does link the DTCC.com asset and services securities processing DRS system link. And again, this post doesn't have very many comments on it. So again, just keep that in mind. But let's keep moving along. So again, there's no mention of DRS until Trimbrath article was mentioned, received literally zero attention from anyone at that time. And then Trimbrath had her AMA with Superstonk later in April, shortly after the first post was created about DRS. And we start to see more and more posts of DRS coming up. But when does this happen? Well, it doesn't really start really kicking off. We have those few posts in the beginning around the AMA time, and we have a few more posts come in. Uh, before July 1st, we yield five posts and 131 comments. Before July 10th, we yield the same five posts and the same 151 comments. So even between July 1st and 10th, there was not one more post created about DRS. Let's keep going. Uh, searching before the 14th, which was Bastille Day, we get two more posts that were created and 173 comments or 20 more comments that were created. And then, if you look into these comments, an early analysis of them uh, and the posts involved are actually posts not for DRS, but they're early signs of people starting to see problems. And these posts are being actively deleted by moderation and is the first sign, in my opinion, of a PSYOP operation being created. This one here says DRS is not the way for shares intended to be sold during MOAS. DRS is excellent for the long position pool shares. And that somewhat has a point, but that's not what people are doing in this day and age. They're DRSing to cause MOAS, telling everyone it's going to cause MOAS, 
but not understanding it's the worst thing to do if the stock were to actually explode hundreds and hundreds of percents higher. You would be trapped, which again, thank you, because when that time comes, which I still think it will, you're going to be trapped. And all I was trying to do this whole time was get you untrapped back into focus, but it is what it is. So these were all deleted by moderators, GME in DRS during MOAS would suck. I agree. Uh, DRS is good for long positions. DRS is not good for MOAS. I agree. Now, these posts are easily corroborated by using ComputerShare's own terms and conditions. So, sale request A, uh, right here, basically it says as a holder, you may request ComputerShare sell all or a portion of your shares. Oh, excuse me, I'm getting tired. Oh, this shit's so easy to debunk, I'm getting sleepy over here. Because again, I'm using their own terms and conditions. So, in submitting the sale instruction, you agree that ComputerShare may transfer your shares to complete the sale, including transfers to a nominee account of computer share. So who do you think that computer nominee is? Um, you already know. <laughs> so they there's that. So sale request part A already destroys the entire narrative that DRS starts MOAS, that you're creating or doing anything other than putting yourself at a greater amount of risk. Keep in mind, there's no evidence of anything of the sort to this day. Only deleted posts from those countering it. So let's move on. And again, this is more of ComputerShare's own terms and conditions that everyone has blatantly ignored this whole time. Let's read some points of interest. Under the day limit order section, it says here, depending on the number of shares being sold and current trading volume, which is concerning because during MOAS, there's likely going to be trading volume if there's millions and billions and billions of synthetics that are going to be short covered and such an order may only be partially filled in which case the remainder of the order will be cancelled so you have that to worry about which you do not have to worry about in a brokerage account and remember all of this is under the guise that you're somehow going to get the DTCC to stop shorting and lending your shares just because you're using their own system the DTCC DRS and in, under the good till canceled section, you have sales may be executed in multiple transactions and may be traded on more than one day. So again, evidence using their own documentation that it will take multiple days to sell your position. Not ideal for the short squeeze <laughs> at all. So again, you got to think this is not hard to debunk and I get attacked for doing it. So why would I be doing it? Because I used to be in your situation, and I don't want these people to continue taking advantage of other people when there's money involved. That is effed up. So again, if you want to be trapped during MOAS, then you're only helping me and everyone else that's smart enough to see that DRS is a trap for MOAS. So do what you want to do. This is just hard to ignore evidence that I'm presenting here. <laughs> and then I'm going to cut this one off. I'm going to go into this a little deeper next time, but I'm going to cut this off here because look, it's me, your boy. This guy actually said, watched his video on DRS to hear his side of things. It seems like he thought DRS shares could still be taken away from you if the DTC really wanted to in extreme circumstances like Moaz. That's exactly what I'm saying. So again, whoever wrote this, more props to you. That This guy actually got 129 upvotes. Um, and then you start to see later on in the next one, everything changes. And like this number here, by the way, look, this is 920. Still only have 428. Just wait, because next time I'm going to show you how it goes from this amount to a ridiculous amount, just like what we saw in Wall Street Bets in the last video I made, that just solidifies the fact that this is an entire theater show and all of these YouTubers are simply just playing along. So, again, uh, this is going to be the finish here. For those of you thinking you're in more control of your situation and destiny by DRSing your shares, this is using their own documents. So again, if you come in the Discord and you're mad, it's because you're ignoring their own documents. It says right here, you do not have any authority or power to direct the exact time at which shares may be sold or to elect the broker or dealer through whom sales are to be made. So again. You think you're escaping broker-dealers, but you're not. You're just 
housing your shares in a DTCC controlled system and you're playing along with their PSYOP that they've given to you on a silver platter. So again, you can hate me or you could DRS, whatever you want to do. But again, this is pretty hard to ignore. You're welcome, by the way. 